rise and shine East Texas. You're watching KETK Today. And welcome back in everyone. Here is a look at Longview right now with our Skyview camera brought to you by the Monster Law Firm. We are seeing a quiet start to our day today. Temperature wise right now we are sitting out at 73 degrees with a dew point in 71. So it's a bit humid out there, but not as muggy as what we saw last week. If you recall last week, we saw the dew point temperatures in the morning in the middle and upper 70s and it was downright uncomfortable out there. But the dew points are a little bit lower for our day today. So that's certainly some good news. Latest surface map along with the temperatures across the country this this morning we've got tropical storm Debbie still out in Georgia right now going to move out into the Atlantic Ocean just off the coast of South Carolina and pretty much stay parked there and allow itself to restrengthen just a little bit before likely making another landfall in South Carolina later on this week bringing some heavy rain to those areas. Now notice there's a pretty strong cold front up to our north which will eventually move through our area as a much weaker front but look at the temperature contrast 72 in Kansas City right now where the front just moved through a bit cooler in Omaha where it's 66 degrees, but look at this Minneapolis coming in at 57 degrees, one of the coolest spots across the nation, but the coolest spot uh, is San Francisco at 53 and then just south of there. The warmest spot is Phoenix, Arizona at 97 for our day today. We are going to see lots of sunshine to go around just a few passing clouds from time to time out there. Those high temperatures in the upper 90s, so slightly above average for this time of the year. When you factor in the humidity, though, the heat index could top out at 106 in the hottest locations, especially out in DB, Texas. Now, the normal high temperature is 96 degrees. We are going to be making a run towards 100, though, later on this week. We may get there on Wednesday. If not Thursday, we even have a better chance of reaching the century mark. And for many of us, that will be the first time this year, except for the Tyler area. Tyler seen one day with a high of 100. That was back on July 1st. Longview and Lufkin have yet to see that, but we may very well get our first 100 degree day of the year by Wednesday and if not Wednesday, then on Thursday. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Like I said, that cold front moves in later on uh, into the weekend, which will bring a slight cool down to our area. It will also make things slightly less humid as well, so that's some good news. But overall, still staying hot and mostly dry here for the next seven days, with Thursday being the hottest day of the next seven. For Deep East Texas, it's more of the same. Look for that heat index to top out at 111 degrees for the day on Thursday, and then that front moves on in and we're slightly cooler heading into the weekend with highs back down to the middle and upper 90s and slightly lower humidities.